This is Adam P. Ledyard with the ETBU Sports Network here with head football coach Joshua Ergel. Coach, coming off a, a tough loss to number 18 Texas Lutheran on the road. Guys played with them neck and neck, led most of the game in the fourth quarter. They had their comeback, and you guys fall by six on the road to Texas Lutheran. Just recap these, this uh, uh, emotional game against the, the Bulldogs. Yeah, you know, you, you never like to lose a football game. And uh, but I was really proud of the way our guys prepared. I think I gave us a chance to play with those guys last week. I, I it's a day-to-day thing with us. If we if we practice well on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and have good walkthroughs on Friday and Saturday morning, I can tell that I, mean, I can tell we're fixing to play good. And uh, last week went really, really well as far as preparation. Uh, I felt pregame our guys were locked in and ready to play. And the first half is probably the best half of football we played since I've been here. I mean, it was outstanding against an unbelievable opponent. And um, and so so yeah, we, we lose the fourth quarter, twenty to six. Um, offense had three three and outs out of four possessions. Um, defense is allowing points um, and special teams, our coverage units, we allowed them to have the ball three times on our side of the 50 with our coverage units. So it was really kind of, a, you know, a team collapse in the fourth quarter. So uh, this week we got the challenge to find a way to respond um, when you know that you, you, you have, you're capable of playing even better than that. And that's, that's what's out there. We still haven't played a perfect game. And that's what you're always chasing as a coach and a player. You're chasing that perfect game. And, um, you know, first half, I don't know if we can play any better. But we got to be able to do that for four quarters if we're going to uh, have any success in this conference race coming up. Talking about the conference race, five games down, five games to go. New season here. Open up Howard Payne, homecoming on Saturday. How's the team uh, preparing for this first conference game after they played five non-conference games? Well, you know, I'm re- as a coach, you know, I'm really hoping that our our non-conference slate that we put in front of them, which was pretty daunting, um, I'm hoping that pays off for us in conference. I'm hoping the level of competition they've seen. Uh, will be similar to our tough conference and we'll prepare them for what's ahead of them. And I feel like it will, um, the, the types of teams we played. And um, so, we, we, you know, this week we got a tough opponent in Howard Payne. Um, last year, you know, they completely destroyed us. I mean, they, that, that was the, probably the worst game we played all year. Uh, they played a scheme defensively we didn't have an answer to. Um, and then offensively, they're a lot like us. And this year, they got all those guys coming back. They got a great quarterback, an unbelievable wide receiver, and Micah, number 80. And, and the running back, number 22, Doves, phenomenal running back. So we got our hands full again this year, starting this conference race with the second half of the season. Talk about your uh, players of the week from the Texas Lutheran game and who they are offensive, defensively, special teams, and your special awards. Uh, you bet. Um, uh, special teams wise, uh, Jake Burton came in and really helped us in the punt game this week. Um, there was a lot of wind in, in Seguin Saturday, and we thought if we could get that ball up there and hang around a little bit, it might help us and get a crazy turnover or, or uh, a, a bad catch by the returner. And Jake Bruton really hangs the ball up there. And so Jake averaged 41.3 yards a punt, did a phenomenal job. Uh, we just got to do a very good, a better job of covering his huge hang time and get down there and, and really contain our uh, returner. Uh, on offense, Stephen Alford was on the receiving end of a lot of Josh's uh, – uh, passes. Josh did a phenomenal job. He was recognized by the American Southwest Conference for the third time in, in, in five games. Uh, but Stephen Alford had a career night. He had 165 yards received on seven catches and two touchdowns. Uh, another guy I've mentioned that we mentioned when we were talking about this is, is you got Tyler Bates had another career night receiving yards. Uh, a lot of big catches like, like he always does. Had two touchdowns himself. I uh, think Kendall Roberson had a, had a career night. All right. And all those guys we chose to recognize uh, Stephen Offer for his big performance. But, you know, all that all that accolades and all those yards really comes and starts up front. And I feel, I feel like the offensive line played really, really well uh, for the most part of that game. Um, and then defensively, Stephen Seckler in the first two possessions had three interceptions, or excuse me, in the first three uh, possessions had two interceptions, uh, 11 tackles, half tackle for a loss, and uh, just played a really uh, all around good game for us defensively. But, but man, guys are start, starting to come up. Bryce Powell, I mean, I mean, excuse me, uh, Brandon Powell and Bryce Hale. Uh, really started to come alive up front for us. Um, you know, one of the interceptions, Desmond Oliver puts that, puts that big old paw up in the air and batted the ball up in the air for Steven Seger to, to intercept it, and it felt like he had another good game. Uh, Kyra Bechter and, and Scott Majalit had a good game inside, are really trying to stop that run and contain that running back. And So I, I just feel like defensively we're coming on um, and we're getting better every week, but uh, Steven Seger's our play of the week this week on defense. All right, Coach, thanks for talking to us today on the ETBU Sportsnet.